Hello everybody, it is MightyDona88. I am back. This is going to be a post commentary. Um, this is a truck race I ran on Monday afternoon. It was actually the last truck race at Charlotte Motor Speedway of the week. And uh, it ended up being a pretty good, pretty fun race, so I decided I would uh, record it and upload it. Um, I do apologize that uh, it looks like it's a little weird in Streamlabs and that I don't have Is it not grid? any layovers or anything. Um, Apparently not. Told me to catch the pace car. Sorry, you'll be able to hear the uh, talking in the background. Um, right, unfortunately, as I said, I didn't record this live and I don't know What's going on, green, how guys? to uh, get the layovers and such to work. So uh, I'm just going to kind of give my thoughts. Uh, and such as the race is going on. So I came into this race after having a bad one and uh, my whole goal uh, was just to survive the race. This was the last race I was going to do for the night. Uh, I just wanted to survive the race and try to recover some safety rating because at this point I had dropped down to I believe a 2.5 or a 2.4 safety rating. Uh, so literally my whole goal for this race was to just survive. Um, <clears throat> yeah, as you'll see here, I'm taking it really cautious. Uh, started in the back of the field, misqualifying. Uh, I believe... Yeah, I was in 12th at this point, it looks like. Yeah, I wasn't sure what was going on there. I believe there were 16 or 17 trucks in the race. Um, but yeah. So basically at this point, as I said, just trying to survive, trying to gain some positions. I wanted to I hopefully break you to gauge tires. Hopefully break even on I rating um, and gain some safety rating. I so horrible at it. So the goal for me was basically just a solid top 10. Yeah, I'm, I'm really bad at saving tires. Sorry, I'm trying to let you hear the commentary in game. The goal was just a solid top 10 and uh, hopefully, hopefully 0x. Yeah, this was a really good group of guys to run with. Um, I've actually got another race that I'm going to record um, as a replay like this, but from now on I've decided I'm just going to record every race live, and then if it's not something I want to upload, I'll delete it. Um, yeah, I apologize for the lack of content. I apologize for the lack of content. It's been a while since I've had my racing rig actually up and running. Um, finally got the rig back up and it'll be up for a couple more weeks um, then unfortunately it's gonna be a little while again before I can race um, but hopefully by the start of next year shortly into next year I'll be able to race a lot more um, so right now we're just kinda of worried about tire consumption as you can see um, for the most part at this point, people are just running in a straight line. Uh, never did figure out why that dude went through the grass. <laughs> uh, but yeah, everyone's pretty much in the same mode of just like, let's tick off laps. Uh, and get this thing going down and such. At this point I was kind of nervous, so in the race before, I think it was the race before, or a couple races before, I had actually pushed it three wide and gotten clipped by the guy on the bottom and wrecked out. And uh, I was tempted to try to make it three wide there, but decided that that was just a terrible idea, <laughs> didn't want to get wrecked out again, and uh, <clears throat> it ends up being a pretty good time running with this group up here.
That one kind of made me nervous because I thought he was outside of me uh, when he put the block on. I thought for sure I was going to get hit there. And then here again, I was kind of in the back of my mind thinking about, damn, am I going to get put into a situation where I have to take it three wide? Uh, luckily, I was able to find a spot inside of this guy and not have to go three wide with uh, the two and the six. So. Okay, as you can see this group, uh, I believe we were second split out of three. I'm not for sure on that. We might have been bottom split. Um, but they were actually really respectful of racing each other and uh, it was good time, fun to watch uh, from back here with them going side by side and uh, just kind of giving each other room. and. At this point, I was content just riding along. I was in the top 10. I believe I was in 8th right now. And uh, I was just kind of like, all right, let's tick down the laps. I would be happy finishing here, especially if it's a 0x. So. Start singing R E S B C T. So, as you can see there, uh, one of the dudes that was actually the driver that's currently in third place was like, uh, had said, Can we start singing R E S? This has been the best group of drivers I've gotten all day. P E C T, uh, referring to the fact that these dudes are racing hard but giving each other room and, uh, not wrecking, which was impressive as uh, Amen to that. As I had said back there that this is the best group of drivers I've been with all day. Uh, most of the day it seemed like anytime people were racing that hard, uh, someone wrecked. <laughs> so At this point, you can tell I'm starting to feel the tire where I'm getting a little tight, getting up closer to the wall on exit. Uh, tires are sliding a little bit more. Uh, but my whole goal at this point was to just stick close enough to these guys that if they had to check up or if someone made a mistake, I could pounce and gain a position or two. Uh, but again, just pretty much content riding, giving myself a little space from them as long as I can stay close. And there was a caution here. Check up, check up, check up, check up, check up. And, uh... Let's go Andy, look we'll up at here what one, that one. was. Car already out in front of us. I can show you caution now. Um, I believe it was back here. Coming into three and four. Gotta try to figure out what car number it was. You can see right there. Alright, let's... Just back in the field, that's Ford in the field. Back in the field, number two, Thomas Sheffield. And let's see what happens here. So he hits the wall, comes off, hits the wall again, goes down, collects the bottom wall, and slides right up in front of a couple other trucks. Um, we will go on board with him real quick. Actually, we will do the chopper view. So coming out of the corner, he hits the wall, gets out of it, hits it again, gets sent off, and comes right back up the track, right in front of the 12, and collects. I couldn't tell what number that was also. Check up, check up, check up, uh, check up Which check was up. unfortunate. But going back to our view. Again, we'll be checking up here in uh, one. We want the base car already out in front of us. So at this point. Hey, top eight, great job of like racing hard, but like keeping it clean the whole time that was a lot of fun yeah that was me commenting on 
It was a lot of fun watching it. And, That's what uh, I was saying. I mean, there was a lot of respect between the 20 to 9 and uh, me, the 13. You know, like, just riding. Yeah, it was a lot of fun watching them, especially live yeah, at the yeah, time. That was some good racing. That was fun. Uh, so at this point, we're like 12 or 15 laps in, and I yeah, knew I wanted to pit. More people would realize that as long as you, like, give each other room, you can have a lot of fun with some good, clean racing instead of, you know, wrecking each other. And uh, I knew I wanted to yeah, pit for some fresh tires, so. I think we all realized right from the beginning that it's about tire conservation. I mean, once the 20 took the lead, we were all running. I mean, we were all the, the top four were running the same speed. Honestly, I'm pretty sure the top seven or eight were, we were all in pretty much one big group right there. 10 4. We'll come here. I take four tires. Unfortunately, I did kind of make the mistake of not unchecking fuel. So I ended up taking a full tank of fuel. Um, which is kind of unfortunate. I wish I would have uh, not taken fuel. Um, at this point, someone mentions that they accidentally drove past their pit box. Yeah, I missed my pit too. I uh, right there. Hey man, just a couple feet too far. 14. I'm gonna let you around me. Uh, he had sent it as a message in the chat. Uh, there were a couple people that tried to pit and missed their pit box. Yeah, 14. You're supposed to pass me also. Hit box one, baby. And uh, so they will be up at the front, as you'll hear us sort out here in just a minute. Yeah, I fucked up and accidentally put in more fuel. So uh, now I'm going to be heavier, damn it. There, you hear me commenting. You may like having the extra little uh, traction. Very true, very true. Yeah, I've been on the fence about that all week. Like, does it make you tighter the longer you run then? You know what I mean? Like... I've been on the fence of fuel or no fuel when you pit. Yeah, same. I've ran, I think this is like my sixth or seventh one this week here, and uh, there's been some where I pit and get fuel, some where I don't, and I haven't really noticed a big difference between the two, to be honest. But uh, I feel like when I'm emptier, it is a little more loose, which helps with the tire wear, uh, saving that right front a little bit. Agree there. Yeah, and I think to really get it, you got to make it all the way green too, so you can really get the good burn. But yeah, so there you, I let you guys listen to us, uh, kind of so discussing. So first 15 laps, I was 93, 95. Fuel and tires. Damn, that high? I was at 95, 97. Referring to right you side tires. You look good, 92, 94. But I did have a little more passing because I started back in 10. Yeah, and if you were the leader, you didn't have the draft as much to help keep you up there. We were able to take it a little bit easier the farther back because of the draft. Yeah, I didn't have too much leading. I think it was just two laps. Yeah, I was 90, 93. That was our primary leader, was Brad. How do you check your, t um, what your tire stands for? F6, or, yeah, F6, or 6, however you got it set up. Thank you, bud. But yeah, so you can hear us chatting and stuff, and at that point, when they started talking about how high their tire wear was, I was feeling pretty confident that I was able to stay right there with them and I had much less tire wear than the leaders. So, I don't remember Tyler being with the runners, uh, the lead guys initially, so Tyler, did you just go two? Tyler is the one who drove past his pit box as you'll hear us comment in a minute. Um, I don't know if he, yeah, he had to have because he, oh, he missed his box, there you go. Yeah, he go through his pit box so he did not have fresh tires he was restarting on uh about gotcha so he pulled that box tires. he actually didn't get any tires gotcha be careful not to spin on the start yeah be careful uh on the start and going into turn one and turn two yeah 
Yeah, he was in our group. He said he was P7, so. Team 4, let's be smart here, Tyler. Try not to spin him. Hey guys, farther back, just beware, uh, depending on what happens up here, be ready to check up so it's not the whole field taken out in a wreck if he does spin the tires. Laying back a little here, 20. So now we catch the restart, and as I called, there really was a bad? wreck, and I don't know how I made uh, it man, through there. I'm sorry, I didn't check that. So wow. let's go ahead and take a look at that. Really appreciate the number nine of Brad Young, and we will go to the copper view. <clears throat> and show you guys what happened. So he thought he was clear really and collected bad? five of the eight top cars. Oh, man, I'm sorry. Uh, let's go on board with the zero 07. This is what he saw. Really, Brad? He got clipped and I went through as you can see. Also, I just want to shout out a huge thanks to my girlfriend Bree Lying for making a beautiful car for me to race. Uh, here's on board with David. Really As you can see, David didn't really have a chance. And then the last couple onboards I want to show you, right here on the bottom with Justin, another one of the front runners. Also really didn't bad? really have a chance. And then right behind Justin, uh, I believe it was Alan. Also, really, didn't Brad? really have a chance. He checked up a little bit later. Ah, uh, man, I'm sorry. But, I yeah. didn't that. Wow. Really appreciate that, fella. That was awesome. Come on, man. Uh, I have no words. I'm out. So this that took out entire day. four of the top eight. What, should, what happened there? What happened off the restart? And you'll see here that I comment wrong. We couldn't even get into turn one. What happened? Tyler, that was not you. That was not you. Uh, from uh, fourth row, it looked like it was a bunch up on the top lane, and that's what caused the accident. I was very wrong, but wrong. From what I saw, the that's nine. what happened. The mistake, guys. My mirror showed me clear. I I knew he was there, but I messed up. Really sorry. Yeah, the nine wanted to go and missed it and doored me and it turned me. I didn't. There was no stack up up top. All right, and so bad. speaking of the nine, where the fuck is he? I'm supposed to be waiting for him. Pit. Yep. So there it just changed, but that's why I was going so yeah, slow as I was changed. waiting for the nine because uh, it said to let him pass and I did yeah, not want to get a penalty. Really sorry, guys. That screwed that up. So this put me up into P4 with another opportunity to pit. Um, I did not. However, the front three, sure, as you will see, went, went down pit there, road. I thought that was you that was back there, not the, like the 19 or something up. The front three pit. That, I was side by side with the leader. Because one of them had slid, yeah, uh, slid through his pit yeah, box, as you can see me run over the pace car. Just just the way the day one had slid through his pace, pit box, so he didn't get uh, to get tires. The other two got a little bit right of damage. Here, which means I was side by side with you. So I don't know what you were thinking. I mean, I know what you were thinking, but he was rolling. We were fine. Did all the leaders just fit again? Something tells me I shouldn't have fit. 
Hey guys, I may be done because I'm idling at a thousand, so we're way down on power right now. Yeah, I was kind of wondering why you three pit. Uh, the one made sense since he didn't actually stop on his, but you other two, I was like, why the fuck are they pitting? We just got tires two laps ago. Not even a full lap of green flag. I ended up rear ending the guy in front of me because he checked up and the guy started spinning, trying to fix the front end. I have 49 minutes for repair. Thanks. Damn, Ryan, that's... I'm sorry, bro, that sucks. But yeah, so it was unfortunate. It took out a... Yeah, I thought I had more damage. A lot of strong competitors. And, uh... Pretty much yeah, gifted us the yeah, lead. Before we really started... Halfway through the race. The so, <laughs> screw, screw that up anyway. So at this point, I was just trying to figure out, damn, is it possible for me to win this, or what do I do? And you'll hear my decision here in just a little bit, um, and me and the driver uh, in second, you'll hear our communication a little bit. Um, but yeah, I was gifted the lead because four strong car, or trucks I should say, wrecked out uh, with 20 laps left in the race. Um, but yeah, so at this point I was like going back and forth like, man, I could try to win it. I could just take it chill, go for zero X and go for like a top five. Like, like I don't you know. Like if you get hit up the start, it's always a good idea to pit, right? I don't know how I want to play this. So, uh, let's hey, see what happens. Know, you still got a chance you could come back and fucking win this thing. Like give us enough racks and knows what's going to happen, right? Shit, I mean, for those of you that watched the Robo, look at Chase Elliott's comeback to go from fucking wrecked out to finishing, what, 12th, I think it was? Did you hear what he said after the race? Are you talking about the uh, comment about Kevin Harvick and uh, having a good Christmas and an off season? Yeah, I sure am. Little rub. As a Chase Elliott fan, my concern is that Harvick's going to do some bullshit here in the final four, like the cut from eight to four that fucks Chase Elliott. It's possible. I don't think Chase is going to get it with the back end falling off like it was. That's pretty impressive. But yeah, so you heard us there talking about the race over the weekend. Um, if you haven't watched the Charlotte Roval race, I highly recommend you do so. It was a really good race. I missed the first half. I caught uh, just after they went green for stage three. I like how we went from just an amazing first ten laps or so to this just quickly turned into a shit show. It certainly sh changed things up because all of you guys that were up front fucking wrecked. So here my thought was, I'm going to jump the start big time and try to get a good lead and be clear by a while before turn one and two, which I did. And I wish I had a mirror. I had a good solid lead at this point. Also, if you're wondering about the FOV, that's because I have it set to what is correct for me. Um, using my 49-inch uh, ultra-wide at the distance it is from me. Um, so I know it doesn't look the best on camera, but uh, I wanted to keep it consistent. So I apologize about that. So at this point I had the lead. Um, the dude was right on my tail though, and I was still going back and forth about push hard or conserve Cody, tires and then you hear that him saying he's fine with one two and that uh told me i could take it a little bit easier you got 11 up down 20 miles an hour 
You're gonna see I still push pretty hard though because it is a win on the line and I decided you know what I've only ever won one truck race at Bristol which if you haven't seen that video go check it out um, say hi, Ed, if you wanna pass. I really wanted to get another win uh, the first time in over a year I've won in the trucks Thank you, buddy. but we will see if I'm able to hold on and win this <laughs> One and two sure are pulling away from the pack. At this point, what he was talking about is we had about a five second gap to third place. Uh, you can't see here because there's you can't see the mirror, but second place was right on my tail. Uh, which inspired me to try to keep pushing. You can see there I was starting to get a little loose and uh, had to check up a couple times. At this point we are still nose to tail right next to each other. And uh, at this point I had committed I really did not want to give up the lead. We had a good lead over third but I wanted to win this race but more importantly I did not want to wreck out because with the lead we had we could easily get a 1-2 finish between the two of us and third place wouldn't catch up unless they did a what like something amazing with tires and with us trying to stay ahead burned them off too quickly but I believe at this point we had almost a six second lead over third place. I was also starting to get nervous about here uh, with the lapped car coming up. I really did not want something stupid to happen to take me out of the race. Grant, all I ask is if we start fighting for the twin, let's not wreck each other. So that was in reference to Brother, he tried. Why don't you give me a major opening? I'm fine with this. So that was in reference to him. Leaders, uh, where do you want me when you get to me? High in the corner, please. Also, mad respect to him for uh, asking where he wants us, or where we want him. Right, the timing with that should be pretty good going through three and four. Um, but when I asked him not to wreck me, it was because he had made a move inside, and I had tried to block him. Kind of an aggressive yeah, block I'm on. I'm happy to put this on cruise control code and take the point. Tried to block him and uh, was worried that I was going to wreck us. Um, well, I'll gladly take my second career truck win. So. And you can see there he was talking about how he was fine taking second, and I do kind of hate it because at this point I was worried that he was not going to really try uh, to catch me and race me, and I didn't want to race just handed to me. Um, I wanted a good battle, but at this point, he is still right on my tail, and if I make a big mistake or an opening, like he said, he will take it. Um, if I go ahead and switch views here... As you can see, he is right on my tail. Once again, I just love the look of the Mighty Donut truck. Um, there's still a few tweaks that are being made to it that we will hopefully have done uh, within the next few days. And then uh, we will be making more and more uh, paint schemes uh, based on this. Um, but as you can see, he hadn't really backed out. Uh, he was still trying... Um, he talked about, I don't know if it'll be in the replay, but after the race, he had talked about 
uh, he had kind of overheated the tires trying to stick with me. Um, and that falling back was not intentional. But at this point, with just a few laps to go, I am still, like, nervous. Because at this point, I didn't know. I was worried he was saving his stuff to make a come at for the very end. Um, even though he had said he was okay with second, I was a little nervous. Um, so I was still pushing hard. Um, trying as hard as I could to get this win. And about this point, uh, lap 37 of 40, I was just praying that there was no caution. I was like, man, just yeah, I'm like, totally trying to stay out of your guys' this way. I just need to save some of the safety. At this point, I was like, man, just leave it green. He had fallen back to about three quarters of a second or so behind me at this point. So my only goal was just to hold on and try to get this race done as quick as possible before there was a wreck or anything. Um, but as you'll see here, I am still pushing really hard to where I'm sliding up high. I guess I wasn't this corner, it might be the next one through three and four, but there's one or two where I almost hit the wall. Um, Just trying to push hard. It was right here uh, where I got really tight and had to let off some more to try to not hit the wall. And at this point, he was catching back up to me. I think at this point, he was down to about half a second behind me. And I was like, damn, if I let up, he's going to have an opening and he's going to take it from me. And you can see here, two to go. I'm just trying to hold on for dear life. My truck's really tight because I burnt tires up and uh, clearly him slowing down a little bit helped him a lot uh, with his tire wear as I said at this point he's not pressuring me but he's close enough to keep me honest to where if I mess up he's gonna get me and uh, here I take the la good? white flag and I was just like, Thank man. God, I appreciate it. God damn. That was a stressful one, though. Or no, that was the checkered. My bad. That was the checkered. And I, I was just... I almost both of those fucking wrecks. And somehow went from 15th to the win. I thought for sure you are going to take that wall on number four twice for the last two laps. But yeah, I was just really happy yeah, to be I able to... I was like, shit, I need to just start taking it a little more easy. Fuck. I was wondering why you're pushing so hard. It's like we're way out front. All right, buddy. Good win. I'll see you next time. See you next track. Hey, good, good race and all. Uh, catch you on the next one. So yeah, it was a lot of fun yeah, racing with race, him. Guys. Catch you later. He kept me honest. Um, I do hate that it. He claims that it wasn't, but I do feel like it was kind of a handed wind uh, to me, and I kind of hate that. But. Can't complain with a win. And one more time, just look at how beautiful that truck is. So there will be some changes. Um, I don't want to have Twitch on both the sides. We're going to make one of them you, the YouTube.com uh, slash MightyDonut88 or like MightyDonut88 on YouTube or something like that. But this was the first win I got in the donut truck. And... Uh, I was really happy to do that, especially because at the time I was streaming this in Discord uh, with my girlfriend Bree in there, and we were talking, and uh, it was a lot of fun to just be able to get a win in front of her. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and quit out of this and show you the results from that race. So in that race, we ended up finishing with zero incident points, gained .12 safety, and 92 I rating, which put me back over 1600. And uh, it was a good race. Brent was, if you ever watched this, it was a pleasure racing with you. Uh, by the end, he was a second behind me. Um, 
for a while he was right on my back with about seven to go started getting a little bit more space with about three to go it was down to about half a second and then uh he ended up giving me some more space probably thinking i was going to hit the wall and wanted to uh be able to get by me um we were fifth split out of nine actually so i was way off on the splits i apologize about that but it was a good time um really unfortunate uh tyler had led a good bit of the first he ended up in uh, p4 uh david had re led a couple laps um uh, of the first stint he ended up 11th two laps down and unfortunately brad who had led the majority of the first half 12 laps uh was not able to finish the race and neither was ryan and these these were all people that were racing up front with us um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed um if you would prefer me in the future to just send uh like show the cautions at the end instead of at the time they happened uh please leave a comment and let me know uh i appreciate everyone for watching and i will see you in the next one